everybody, this is John Bowen with Hub Edge Realty, and we're here at Avocados in Stoughton Center, okay? This is Francisco, he is the chef of Avocados, which just opened up this... Uh, uh, February. This February, and the food is fantastic, so please come down here. My father-in-law is in the background, and he every time he comes from Cleveland, he just eats this stuff. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right, we got on the left here. We got Mark Vasconcelos of the Brockton Enterprise. You may remember him from the uh, uh, Autumn 2016 Stoughton Photo Contest. We also have Carlos Vargas of Vargas Vargas, Vargas and Vargas Insurance, and you might remember him also from the uh, uh, Fall uh, Autumn 2016 Stoughton Photo Contest. And we have a new uh, judge. This is Diane Whitaker, and she's a Stoughton resident. She's also a um, art director at the D at the DXL Group. Yep, formerly. Oh, formerly of the DXL Group. All right. So these these folks have judged the photos, and we are going to review them. Okay. And we're going to start with um, we're going to start with the honorable mentions, and we're going to go um, we're going to go from A to Z. Okay. So, hold on one second the here. The suspense is killing it. The suspense, right. I know, right. The suspense is killing it, too. <laughs> um, there were some wonderful photos, right, John? That's there some true. great photos. Everybody took some great photos. Some not following the, the <laughs> contest, uh, which was angles and architecture of stone. That's right. But some great colors. Uh, everybody, you know, who but chosen for this end of it. I think great it's a great, job. yeah, great job. Okay, our first, uh, our first um, uh, honorable mention, which would have been in my top three if I were to have um, judged this. You have been the judge, but you're not. I am not the judge. This is called Homecoming Cows. And the judges don't know this, but this was from the winner of the, two th uh, the autumn 2016 Stoughton Photo Contest. This is from Carolyn Owens, and I love this photo. But let's start from left to right, Mark. Let's talk about homecoming cows. All right, well, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the Enterprise Newsroom who's watching right now. <laughs> Kathy and Cody, hi. Hi, Kathy. Hey, hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Enterprise. Right, so. <laughs> so let's let's talk about homecoming cows. Um, and we got. I, I like the angles. I like the clouds, oh, and the color was really good on it. I mean, it wasn't it didn't meet the theme here. Of, well, there angles. are some angles here. Yeah. yeah. But we had quite a bit of animals. I think there was like three photographs yeah. with That's animals. Terrible. in them. Yeah. yeah. So. That's right. That's a great shot. Yeah. Um, Carlos, homecoming cows, and let's pull. Let me put that up. Yeah. Let me pull that up to the camera, please. See. Homecoming Cows, Carlos. I actually like it. I like the colors in it. I know that's probably off of West Street, the McNamara Farms up there. Um, so I connected with it. I did choose it as my first choice because I think there were some great photos here. Uh, but I really like I like the whole blue sky there and the cows and and threes, right? Everything's going to be in odd numbers, right, Mark? Yes. Odd numbers, not twos, not fours, but threes. What, the cows? The cows. There's three yeah. cows? Isn't there? You want to yeah, please, yeah. Thank you so much. These two photos. There's three yeah. cows. Yeah, no. These two televisions are uh, going right into that. It's in the stories. Thank you, three yes. Three cows. There are three cows, and there are actually three <laughs> levels to the fence. Right. Yeah, and so the rule three. of thirds, and actually she's using the rule of thirds very well here. She's got the clouds right. up top, and then in the foreground she's got the grass, and in the middle she's got the cows and yeah. the three. Yeah, okay. Uh, Diane, what do we got? I believe this was my second choice. I loved the colors in it, and I felt it looked like spring, and the angles um, created by the fence, I thought were beautiful. It's, it's really good quality image, and very interesting subject matter, so it was up there in my top three. All right, cool. Uh, one thing I should ask you guys, just raise your voices sure. a little bit. The, it's right there, okay? All right, thank you so much, everybody. That was Homecoming Cows, and that's an honorable mention. And then our next honorable mention here is a photo called Spring Gobbler. Okay, it's actually, I know it's tough to see here, but it is a photo of a turkey. And I'm gonna actually bring this closer to the camera for y'all, which, which I didn't do with the last one. Spring Gobbler, and there's a stack of wood to the right. Um, Mark, we'll start with you again. All right, it's an it's an animal photograph. I mean, it's, 
the color is not that great on this, but I mean, it's backlit from the back. It's, it looks like it's done at like five or six o'clock at night. The turkey was a little bit more like Carlo said earlier, maybe a third in the thirds. It's almost dead center. So, I mean, it's a nice photograph. Maybe if it had better sun. And, and again, it's right in the center, so your eye doesn't doesn't move around the photograph. It just goes right to the turkey and stays there. You got this strip here, which I guess gives me the time that this is going to be around five or dusk. How it's back, backlit. Carlos, what do you got? Um, I, I I concur with Mark. I mean, it, it, it's a little washed out a little bit. I think if it had a little bit more color, it's probably would have been one of my top threes. Um, I think I've had two more turkeys there, so, uh, <laughs> so three turkeys instead of one turkey. Right. It would have been called Spring yeah. Gobblers. And Spring Gobblers, right. Right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Diane. I love the subject matter. Um, quality of the image, I think, could be definitely improved with better lighting. I love the composition in the sense of the wood cropping into the wood pile and the angles that the wood pile created, but again, I think the quality needs improvement to really be up there in the top three for me. Okay, gotcha. So the lighting was the issue, it seems like, uh, yeah. across the board here. All right, that was Spring Gobbler. And um, I will let everybody know that that was a, uh, from a photographer named Doug Prostko, P-R-O-S-T-K-O. Doug Prostko. Good job. Thank you, Doug. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you, All right, so let's go to the next photo here. The angles the and the um, Yeah. That really was. The angles were in the wood work, but this photo is called Still Water. Okay, and this is a um, this is a runner-up. This is a uh, honor an honorable mention. And we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna start with Diane here now. We're gonna go backwards this time. So when looking at this, we were talking about spring and does it feel spring? And I thought there was an interesting quiet beauty to this image, not knowing if it's sunset or morning. And I love the contrast. And I actually love the subject matter in the foreground um, plants that are there. There's interesting contrast and that's what I reacted to here. It's, I think there's definitely images that are stronger. It's a great photo though. And I think there's a beautiful reflection and a quality to the moodiness of the image. Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. I. Um I like the cat's tails are up here, and that's really the only thing that I focus on when I look at this, because everything else is so kind of blended into almost one color with that light on the side. So uh, it's a great photo, uh, but I think maybe a little bit more color would have probably would have got him a little bit more, feel like more, spring. more spring. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Carlos. It's my eyes. It's definitely the cat tails. This is the photograph here. The guy right there. It's a good, good idea. I would like to something to separate the cat tails. In the background, somebody there, different lighting, a boat, somebody in this. Something thing. colorful, maybe like a red boat. No, something, a That'd kayak, cool. yeah, kayak. So, I mean, it just, the, the cattail is in the background. I mean, if this was early, I don't know, if the sun was hitting it, it's, again, it seems to be backlit. Okay. I mean, I know it's backlit. You can still look, the trees are silhouetted. So, this is another photo that made it into the top ten. This is also from Carolyn Owens. Uh, she won the Autumn 2016 Stoughton Photo Contest, and I'm sorry, Carolyn, but I, you, I think those are the only two that we have for you, Carolyn, and you did a beautiful job. So I appreciate that, Thank Carolyn. You, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Good job. All right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. Want my glasses. Do you want me to hold it for you? <laughs> All right. This is called Stoughton Softball Fields, and that is home plate. And in the back right there is Stoughton High School, which we know is going to be torn down very shortly. And this is a sepia photograph, okay? Um, we're going to start with Diane again. Diane. So composition-wise, I love everything about this. Because spring, or this is for spring season, is one of the um, requirements, it felt older, old style, more fall because of the sepia tone. So I want to love this more than I do. And I think if it was in real color and not changed over, I would have reacted to it more positively. It's such a great angle. It's such a great subject matter. It's There's just so many things that are cool about this. I would have been able to understand the photo more in seeing the green, seeing the blues in the sky, and seeing the home plate and the dirt color. Carlos. Great, great try. Yeah. 
I thought the same thing. I think if this was in color, I think this would have been at the top of my list. Yeah. You know, I connected with this because of watching the kids at the, uh, on, on the baseball field and the nieces in, you know, on, the, on the softball fields, but I think the sepia just kind of took away from the actual picture itself. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I would have liked to have seen a low angle on this. It seems like a lot, all these photographs are, if you're five feet, they're all, they just stand, it's where, however your height is. Somebody went down low, brought level um, right to the ground and got the photograph, maybe this in the foreground. All, every photograph that's here is taken, like they just where, wherever they're standing, there's no different angles. There's nothing from the top, there's nothing from the bottom, everything is just straight on. Yeah. So you like the low angle on this yeah. one? Oh, well, low angle, there is no low angle on it, but if somebody would have went down, got it maybe well, it down to like, that knees. It looks like they're actually almost on the ground. Yeah, I shooting. feel like they're right on the ground yeah. here. I feel like yeah, they're inches from the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's is. my interpretation. You are right. Yeah, if I look or at it, it could have been a. Uh, well, I stand corrected. I like. That. Well, or it could have been a maybe a little lower, but I like it. I, and I like the composition, like she said. What's the what? What uh, you would take a. Either they were standing on the ground, or they took a uh, telephoto lens, I would assume, yeah. right? They could have been laying on the ground taking this Yeah, you can, also take a wide angle. you can also take a wide angle lens and put something in the foreground here and lay, just lay on the ground. All right. And just photograph from that and put the high school in the background. So the high school's like, there's only a little bit of the high school here. So you're saying a better shot would have been with a wide angle lens, or...? Laying on the ground. Laying on the ground. Maybe with home plate in the foreground and the high school in the background. Maybe the photographer can come in the comments at some point and tell us how yeah. uh, she took this photo. Yeah, and this was a tough photo because I tried to get in touch with the photographer, um, uh, trying to verify uh, her age. And I've been told that she is 13 years old. And I think it's a fantastic shot. Yeah. It's Melody Kasna, C A S N A. Uh, especially for a 13 year old, I think it's a, a, a great shot. Very, very artistic. Very good. Thank you, Melody. All right, let's go on to the next photo here. Um, I need a drum roll. I know, I know, I know. Oh, that's for the final. Sorry. All right. Here is another shot The Last Victory. This depicts the uh, Stoughton High School track and field team in front of the uh, Stoughton High School. And we are going to start, we're going to turn around and start with Mark this time. Well, this was one of my favorites. It was either one, two, or three. I don't know where I put it. But obviously everybody knows that I love people in the pictures. This is what I do for a living. This is a great shot. Love the angle of the high school. This is something I would take. It's a great photograph, shows emotion. I just really like this shot. I, like I said, it was one, two, or three for me. Maybe next time be a little bit more aggressive. and You, it, you, can, it, you can do it from the back. It still shows emotion, but maybe get inside the huddle and shoot it low. Depends on what kind of gear you got. Or you can shoot from the other side and get their faces. But this is, it doesn't matter. This is a great shot. It was definitely one, two, or three for me. I love this photograph. But again, people were in it. I like people that like photographs. So. <laughs> we know that from the, uh, we know that. If anybody watched the video from the yeah. fall, we know that. Carlos. Yeah, no, I uh, I actually like this a lot. And I, I think this was one of my top two or three as well. I, I just I just thought maybe there should have been a little bit more orange in here, a little bit more color in here. So again, it is what it is. So it's, uh, and maybe a few faces in there, I think, as Mark said, would have definitely added a lot more to the, to, 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 to the composition. Yeah, for me, it's all about emotion, and I love the idea that it's showing the win, but also the idea of, of the school. You see it in the highlights, and you see it in the shadows, but it's it's kind of a great historic image that this could go on someone's wall because that school is right. going to be changed. And there's a lot, a lot of emotion, a lot of great photojournalistic style in this image. So, I, uh, Mark, I like the anonymity of, I like the anonymity in it. The backs of their heads. Yeah. I yeah. personally, oh, you do. Oh, I do. Cool. Yeah, I like that. I, I like too. that. It's a great photograph. All right, thank you. And that was good job, uh, Janelle Gibson. And Janelle Gibson uh, uh, won the. Uh, she had. She, well, we're going to get into this in a few minutes here. 
Janelle Gibson won the $50 prize for the most likes on Facebook or on the in the contest. So Janelle, you'll be getting a $50 check. Yay. And this is the second time Janelle has won the most likes. Oh, wow. She won it last fall, but she has been out of the, just out of the money oh, twice. No, so I know, I know. So good job, nice shot, Janelle. Okay. Working social media, good for you. All right. Uh, this uh, last honorable mention, and we're going to start with Diane. This is Turtle Tranquility. And I'm going to put all these photos up on the uh, 617hubedge.com website. Um, this is Turtle Tranquility. And uh, Diane, what, what do you think about this photo? I honestly love the subject matter, the simplicity of it, and I think the quality of the image, the reflection, the color tones, I love everything about this image. I'm not sure it speaks to spring for me, but it definitely has an interesting aspect on the angles, so I reacted to that where I look at the rocks, I look at the line of the rock in the water and the reflection in all those angles. So there, there's a lot of great stuff going on here, and again, Turtle's a favorite, so it's a winner. Carlos, I like this. I like the color. Um, I, I just, I just kind of get lost in it a little bit. There's just so much going on here, so I don't know. Um, I like to concentrate on one part and not the whole thing. So I, um, I think it's great color, but it just, I just get lost in it. You, you couldn't find the subject. Yeah, I can find the subject, but yeah. I can't um, connect to the whole. Because there's so much going on between yeah. the whites and the rocks and the oranges and the reflection. The reflection, yeah, right. So. right. That's what I thought was interesting yeah. about it because it took me a while to look at it and to understand what was happening without reading the title of the image. And I was like, oh, there's a turtles there. And then, yeah. then I understood it, but it, it made me want to look at it. Yeah. Which I so, I, so I should have looked at it some more? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have we got? Thank Mark. <laughs> I like the reflection. Great job. They, did, they thought about the photograph, just didn't take a picture of the rock and the turtles on the rock. Good idea. It was creative. The person made the photo. Uh, so I like, I, I, my favorite part is the reflection. All right, so this photo photographer is uh, Sue Gibson. And Sue Gibson is the mother of Janelle Gibson. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, Sue did not enter the fall contest, but I did when I was giving Janelle the check. Yeah. For the fall uh, contest, uh, Sue did say she was going to enter, and she entered, and no, she was well, in the yeah. top ten. Good so, so, all right. Good before job. we get into um, the final three, I want to talk about this photo right here. And this was a late scratch. We're only going to have nine photos total. And the name of this photo is "While My Wife um, uh, Sunset While My Wife Shops." Thanks, Carlos. And um, I called up the photographer of this shot, and if anybody has been to the Home Depot, you notice that there is a pond across uh, the parking lot. And uh, unfortunately, the Home Depot is not in Stoughton, it's in the neighboring town of Avon. And because this is the Stoughton photo contest, I did have to disqualify it. Um, uh, but I, the, the guy who took this photo, his name, he's got a great Instagram. His name is Christopher Castasis, if I'm pronouncing the last name right. He lives in Randolph, C-A-S-T-A-S-U-S. -S. He's got a great Instagram page. Um, and he was really nice when I spoke with him on the phone. He understood. He would have actually won the most likes. Um, but because, you know, he was, he was, he understood. He's like, wow, I didn't even know. I just assumed it was in Stoughton. So, Christopher, I appreciate it. It's a beautiful, beautiful cotton candy yeah. sunset that you caught there. And um, I would have probably, if it was in Stoughton, that would have been in my top three. Okay, thank you, Chris. And you're going to get a uh, copy of this. Uh, uh, you're going to get a, you're going to get this uh, framed copy here. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. All right, here we go. The finals. All right, drum roll. Now it's time for the drum roll. All right. In third place, okay. In third place, we have a photo here called Contemplation, okay. And it's a very simple photo of a child at the bottom of a slide. Um, and we're gonna start with Mark on this photo. Mark, third place photo. They won a hundred dollars. Congratulations. Tell, yep. Tell me what you think. Well, this was in my top three, so I like this photo a lot. Great angle, good composition, go right into the photograph. 
It's not. It's done from the back. I really like this photograph. Again, it has a personality. <laughs> it has good angles. Great shot. Right. Carlos. And, and, and that person in it kind of brings the personality to this photo for me. So I, I enjoy the color. I enjoy the blue and the green. I enjoy the little guy in his uh, orange pants. So it's, uh, it's really neat. I really like this one a lot. I agree. The angle and it's different. And it's a great buy. It's a really great. It takes the viewer into the photographer's uh, line of sight. So I, I think there's everything good about this image. It shows emotion, solitude. It feels like spring. It's very sweet. It's the name. And uh, for, for me, naming photographs is very important. Yeah. You know, it's called contemplation. Right. I mean, you can see the child there at the end just kind of like. Wow, what a great slide! Now what's rest? Right. Well, now what's again. my life? Do it again. Now what's what's going to happen in the rest for what's the rest next? of my life? Yeah, you know, right. what's next? Yeah, exactly. So that was the third place, and the uh, yes. photographer of uh, contemplation is uh, a fourteen-year-old girl named Madeline Carr. Uh -oh. uh, people might know her mom Madeline. around town, uh, Pam, Pam Carr, Pam Lennon Carr. So congratulations. Yeah. Uh, that is a beautiful shot. Contem contemplation. Okay. Congratulations, Madeline. Yeah. Yep. Very creative. Very, Very nice. Great job. Wonderful done. Yeah. All right. And, th and that was probably done at uh, the the child cot right at, next to their home down on West Street. Perfect. Right. The uh, there's like a, a off the of West Street up in the back uh, behind the car's house. The Lessa. The Lessa. The Lessa playground. I bet you that was taken at the Lessa playground. You think? I go, I go there all the time, and that's why I like Homecoming Cows, because I think that that's... Oh, by the way, yeah. Homecoming Cows, I've got to go back to this real quick. Yes. I love this photo. I'm sorry, Carolyn. All right? I forgot to show you guys this. The cow, the little baby cow, is looking right at the photographer. Oh, yeah. I love that the aspect of the photo. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. And the two parent cows, or well, one's a bull and a cow, I'm assuming, if there is even a bull steer, there. Yeah, yeah. You know? It looks like one of them is a steer. It's got the horns. It's a cow photobomb. <laughs> it's a cow photobomb. Cow photo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was contemplation. Second place photo. Whoa. Here we go. Another drum roll. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is called Sunrise Ames Pond. All right, and we're gonna start with Diane here. Sunrise Ames Pond. This is beautiful. It's spring, it's got great angles. And there's so many things I look at this and love. The contrast, I know we were having a conversation here earlier about should the sky be bluer? I love the peacefulness of the white sky and the contrast that it creates through the leaves and the angles of the two white birch trees is what does it for me. Like almost looking through that angle to what's in the distance. So it's a very good job, good eye. All right, Carlos Vargas. Yeah, no, I, this, this is my number one choice. Uh, I picked this one as number one only because I used to sit at the bench when I used to walk uh, West Street, there's a bench right here, or right over here. Um, and the trees almost look like they divide, because that, that pond is divided in half by the causeway, the little walkway there. So it's, uh, and I think I like, like the colors and everything, and it's just a great, great photo. Congratulations. All right, what do we got, Mark? Yeah, the trees fall in the rule of the, the, rule of thorns. the tree makes it to me. And then I guess this is foliage and the reflection in the background. Nice color, works well. Nice, nice scenic photograph, yeah. All right, so. Very creative again, another, another good job. Now I am surprised because this photographer has again uh, surprised me. And um, this photographer won second place in oh. the autumn 2016 okay. Stoughton Photo Contest. And this is uh, Stoughton's John Stagnoni. John Stagnoni. Uh, I mean, pulling it out <laughs> again. Wow. I mean, I mean, He's doing it. Congratulations, Congratulations, John. Yeah. John, John Stagnoni. Good job. I, I never see John with a camera Roberta, I, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, wait John, a minute. Wait here. a minute. Is it really Roberta? I mean, yeah, we have to. Yeah, we yeah, might we have to have to some verify rules. that. Yeah, we might have to figure right. this out. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, John is uh, very involved with Friends of the State Theater. It's always nice uh, to uh, give money to Friends of the State Theater, which is right next door here to Avocados. I've been trying to raise funds for them. I've given them uh, a donation myself. So uh, think about yeah. Friends of the State Theater, okay? 
All right, winning photog uh, photograph here. All right, first place photograph. <laughs> Spring uh, 2017 Stoughton Photo Contest. Now we're going to start with Carlos this time Whoa. because we've started with yeah. either yeah. Mark or Diane every time. So I feel like this is Carlos's. Um, this is mine. This is your first run, all right? This is called first. Barn Door, okay? And it's a very simple photograph of guess what? A barn door. So, um, Carlos, go ahead. So, I like this a lot. It wasn't my number one. Um, this is probably the barn door at the Clapp House down off of, on Pleasant Street, if I remember correctly. Um, it's, I think it's maintained by some sort of the uh, historical group in town. Um, it's got some great color. I, I, we had this conversation. I think it, it was some sort of color in these pots. I definitely would have chosen it as my number one. Or, Following the rules and the guidelines, this is probably the top of the Stoughton Angles and architecture. Architecture. Yeah, Stoughton right. Angles and architecture. Yeah. Spring color. 2017. Yeah. Stoughton Photo Contest. Great color there, though. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go with Mark, and we're gonna leave uh, the ladies for the uh, last uh, comment here. I agree with Carlos 100%. If it's the theme, this is a photograph that I would take. I really like the photograph. Uh, yeah, the flowers would have been nice, but I, I really like it. It's very creative. Somebody made this picture to just take a photograph, thought about it. I really like it. And uh, like this one didn't have any, anybody in it. And so this was, again, this was my other third, my top three. So I really like this photograph. Good job and congratulations. All right. And Diane, with the final word. This is number one, hands down. And um, to me, it's got everything. It's got composition, texture, beautiful lighting. Um, subject matter is just love it, and it, I just can't say enough about it. I think whoever took this photo should continue in their photographic Absolutely. endeavors yeah. and pursue perhaps a career in the future. If Great they're not idea. already a yeah. professional yeah. photographer, it's wonderful. All right, so the photographer, uh, his name is Alexander Frisbee, F-R-I-S-B-I-E, and this is Barn Door. And um, these photographs are going to be um, installed here at Avocados, so come on in for lunch. Oops, sorry, that's me right there. Hi, I didn't mean to do that. So, uh, so come on in for lunch or dinner and uh, enjoy the photographs. I'm going to put them up for auction and uh, we'll give all the proceeds to Friends of the State Theater. Nice. And uh, I, so what I'm going to be doing here, folks, is I'm going to be taking down those photographs. It's last call for those photographs. If you want to come into Avocados for the uh, fall, the autumn 2016 Stoughton Photo Contest, if you want to bid on those, I noticed that we have some bids up to about $25, $30 on a lot of those photographs, and all that money will go to Friends of the State Theater. Um, so Alexander Frisbee, congratulations. I want to thank my three judges, Mark Vasconcellos of the Brockton Enterprise, Carlos Vargas of Vargas and Varg Vargas Insurance, Diane Whitaker, uh, formerly of the DXL group, okay? Um, and maybe in the future with the DXL group, who knows? John, how do yeah. you bid on them? Do you bid on them online? Uh, there's going to be a, uh, a, um, a three-ring okay, binder yeah. right up front. So nothing done online? Just Nothing done in, online. Okay. Yeah, you know, actually, maybe it's I should try idea, to do that, that, actually. But it's yeah. great. It gets them in here. So. Yeah, I know, and it gets yeah. them in here, too. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. So, so then, this is beautiful. Yeah, just yeah. congratulations. Yeah, so, Alexander $300. Frisbee. $300. 300 bucks for Alexander Frisbee. $200 for John Stagnoni. $100 for Madeline Carr. $50 for Janelle Gibson. And I appreciate everybody's hard work. I know that you guys really worked hard on all of these. Uh, stay tuned for the autumn 2017 Stoughton Photo Contest. Uh, so start thinking about that. I'll come up with the theme for y'all. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right.